welcome back to my channel and happy 31 days of Halloween. If you didn't know, my name is Brittany and I am posting every single day this month. So if you are not subscribed, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. So today I kind of wanted to give you guys a paranormal update. Now, I haven't done one of these in a while, minus the like hair thing that I said quickly. But if you guys have not seen that clip, I will insert it right here. But I want to know what... Also, it is in my Lake Lanier video. It's towards the end of it. So if you haven't seen that video, want to see it in real time and not edit it or slow down, just like real time, definitely go and check out that video. So I had that happen. So the next thing, at the, at the time I didn't have a mirror. Now I have like a little like, of the like vanity mirror type thing, but I didn't have a mirror and it was my, so I was like, oh my gosh, I can use my iPad and I'll just use the front camera. And that way I can sit, I can see it, because our out our bathroom's really weird and it doesn't have an outlet. So you, we have to run an extension cord anytime I want to do my hair. So I was like, oh my gosh, I can do this instead. So I used the camera on my iPad. Now, know how when you guys, like, it's just on the camera mode. And it is work. This is the same with phones, but you'll have like a little box for like faces pop up. And I don't know if I'm explaining this correctly, but so hopefully you guys get what I'm saying. But it has like a little box around the person's face because it, it's like trained to like find someone's face type thing. But it's not supposed to do it to things that aren't faces. Like it might pick up like this pumpkin because it's a face, but it won't pick up things that like there are no faces so but even that like that chance the chance of that is still like slim but if you guys remember my backdrop with the mandala and that's the one actually i am sitting in front of her is it no is it the lake linear it, it's red <laughs> So if you guys remember that backdrop, that's the one I'm talking about, but it picked up my face, which is normal. Like it randomly picking up your face when you move, but it only really does it when you move too, but it picked up something like right, like it was like kind of behind me and it was a smaller square. Like my face was like this big of a square and it was like that big of a square, but it was like right behind me and that kind of creeps me out a little bit because I was like, that doesn't happen. Like, it needs to see a face to generate something like that. And in the mandala, there's nothing that would resemble a face for it to pick up like that. So, I told Jeff, and even he thought it was a little weird, but he's very skeptical. Now, about... I think it was two nights ago, which I mean, when this video uploads, it won't be two nights ago. It'll be like four, I think. But anyways, I, we always have the TV on at night because I need a light to sleep. And I know it's bad to do that, but ever since I got grabbed in the middle of the night, I've been having, like, I've, I've had a really hard time sleeping in a pitch black room. Now, or at least an almost pitch black room. So I, like, we have the TV on. If you guys haven't heard me talk about that, there's literally a video and it's called I Was Grabbed in the Middle of the Night. I'm pretty sure that's the title of it. Um, but, so definitely check that out. But since then, I've had to have a TV on because just, you know, for my own security. So, we had the TV on at night in our bedroom. And I walked, I, like, I always, I, 
I don't know the last time I slept at least six hours. So uh, I wake up a ton during the night, like at least five times, most likely more. And so I got up, I went to the bathroom, came back into the room and looked towards my side of the bed. Now, when I looked at my side of the bed, standing right next to my bed was a guy. And like, you guys, I was fully awake because I've been actually having a lot of trouble falling back asleep. So I, like when I wake up in the middle of the night now, I am fully awake. Like I'm not super groggy. I am not sleepwalking, no, nothing. I am fully awake. So I looked at this guy like face on and he was looking right at me and it's still kind of dark in the room, but there was nothing that I could have mistaken him for. Because like I said, it wasn't my peripheral vision. My eyes weren't adjusting because there was still light in the room. So my eyes weren't really adjusting and I was looking at him literally straight on and then he disappeared. And he was about like around Jeff and my height. So around like five foot five or so. So I live literally like right next to my side of the bed and just standing there. And I was just like, well, looks like I'm not going to sleep right now. It's like, I, I told Jeff and Jeff was really groggy. So he didn't really like comprehend what I was saying fully. I mean, he remembered me saying it, but he couldn't, like, didn't remember the time or anything. But that's the only time something went right by my bed. I mean, I when I got grabbed, it was by my bed, but it was, like, towards the end of my bed. But this was, like, right on the side of my bed. And I didn't recognize the person. It was someone that I had never seen before. So I thought that was a little strange. Now, I haven't seen that spirit again however the following night the cats were literally staring at the wall like Castiel got off of the bed and went onto the dresser and he was really close to the wall now a lot of you could say like hey like well maybe it's a bug well normally I would agree however anytime any of my cats see a bug they swat at it like, literally without fail, every single time they will swat at the bug. Or, like, they'll put their paw up and try to hit it. Like, they, or they'll meow. They always do that whenever they see a bug. It's a very, like, telltale sign that there's a bug. And they didn't do that. Castia literally just, like, sat upright close to the wall. So, like, I don't fully think it was a spirit because he was so close to the wall. But he literally just sat there and kept turning his head back and forth, staring at the wall. So I don't know if it was like a fairy or a pixie or something, like something small that, but the, like the only reason I don't think it was a spirit was just because of how close he was to the wall. But I, I didn't see any bug either. I didn't see anything. And he sat like that for a while. And Athena, like, she went up to it too. And there was nothing there that I could physically see. So I found that a little strange. Now, you guys, this is all within the past couple weeks. Like, the spirit that I saw by my bed and the, my cats acting strange. Like, those are back-to-back -back nights. So I'm really curious what was you know, there or is here. So it'll definitely be interesting if anything else transpires. And if it does, of course, I will let you guys know. I don't feel like it's dark. Like I don't feel a heavy energy. Like I feel a lot of negativity around, but like the world is kind of negative right now. So I think that's why and I'm an empath. So I just feel everything all of the time. We'll definitely keep you guys posted about anything that happens, of course. And I want to know what you guys think about this. Like I said, I didn't feel like it was anything dark 
when I, like, it was just the fact that it was right by my, my side of the bed, why I didn't want to go back to sleep right away. And I've been having a lot of trouble. Like, I wake up and I'm up for an hour just laying in bed. So, I, um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I probably should have done this at the beginning of the video, but so from now on, it will be at the beginning of a video, but I am starting to give you guys a shout out once a week because I figured that is the very least that I can do to thank you guys so much for all of your love and support. Now, what I'm going to call this shout out is it'll be the Mermazing Mermaid of the Week. And of course, if you are male, it'd be Merman, but... So the Mermazing Mermaid of the Week, and I thought it was pretty, pretty fitting because my first ever video, you guys, was about mermaids. And I don't know how many of you guys actually know that, but my first video was about mermaids. And on top of that, that video is not edited at all. I had no idea how to use an editor in the slightest. And I literally filmed it so many times and that is why it's so <laughs> so long and there's so many like like it's not as smooth as some of my videos because I didn't edit it so I thought it was fitting to call you guys for or for my shout out to be the Mermazing Mermaid of the Week. So this week it is Princess Peyton. Thank you so much for all your love and your support. And I love talking to you and seeing your comments. So thank you so much and congratulations. And if you guys want a chance to be the Mermazing Mermaid of the Week, all you have to do is obviously be subscribed to my channel and there's different ways that you guys can get noticed by me in order to become the amazing mermaid of the week and that is you can comment down below and you can share my videos so if you guys want to get noticed and have a chance to become the amazing mermaid of the week then definitely do those things and i just want to say that i love you guys so much and if you have not subscribed yet, definitely hit that subscribe button. I am uploading again every single day this month. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And I hope that you guys have an amazing day, rest of your day and an amazing October. And I will see you tomorrow.